Dave I've Brown. seen yeah. the VIP list. I'm yeah. talking A-list celebrity movie stars, the most famous MMA fighters in the world, rock stars, like any, like everyone, if they have any type of affiliation with jujitsu, is coming to this event. All right, everybody, it is Thursday. September 26th, you guys know what that means. We are just 48 hours away from the biggest jiu-jitsu competition in the world. I'm talking about the ADCC World Championships. You guys know what I'm talking about. We've been waiting all year for this. It's finally, finally here, just 48 hours away. Uh, I'm here at the Anaheim Convention Center right here. This is where it all goes down, and I've seen, uh, I've seen DJ Jackson, Jameel Hill, the, the, the Ryan brothers, um, just about anybody who's anybody in the world of grappling is descending on this arena in just 48 hours from now. I can't believe it's finally, finally here. But first, first man, we gotta put this thing together. We gotta, we gotta make sure all the cameras work. We gotta make sure the mats are on the ground and everything like that. And the, and the lights, Seth Daniels is in here. I know he's got a big plan. Mo Jassim is around. Everybody is going to be trying to put together the best jujitsu event that we've ever seen. And I cannot wait to see what is delivered. But first, let's get in there and, uh, and see what's going down, man. I'm really excited to check it out. Let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm super, all right, God, that didn't work. Maybe we should go around. Is there a back door? Hello? I don't see anybody. I'm wearing a watch, but I don't know if I set the time for the right time zone. So it's either 12.10 or 11.10 right now. <laughs> the rigging is taking forever, so. We had to rig um, four, five, six, seven, eight, a million motors. We're flying about $5 million worth of production equipment. So um, it just takes a lot of time and it's just it's shitty because it makes the day super long. So we're gonna be here all day and night. Do you want us, to, do you have cables or do you want us to run? I've got, I've got 300 foot runs of SDI okay. that I brought that I can just, okay. I can make it from here to where my main processor is going to be there. Where are you going? Uh, I was just going to hang out in the back where I could watch all the really good action. Hmm. Um, <laughs> Dude's warming up and You're slapping fine. themselves. I, I can, I can literally go, like my processor start for an hour set up back here. Okay. Um, which, we need to move our processor, oh no, because they need to be near the video wall. So um, the graphics. You could DJ. Oh wait, no, you can't do that. Um, the graphics. I mean, the graphics are more just like a background fodder. Yeah, I know. I mean, you could every once in a while come up and be like. It's my only job during the show. I know so, it's cool. So let's not completely make me feel like I'm worthless. Um, I don't get a DJ. You know that, right? You can be captain of self-esteem for the day. No, I'm not taking that job. All right, getting a little later into the day right now, about two o'clock. Um, as we get later and later into the day, more and more people keep arriving. Um, more and more athletes are, uh, are around here. So I think I heard about a little impromptu training session over here with some of the uh, Team Lloyd Irvin guys. So let's go check that out. Good, ready to have some fun. Super exciting tournament, kind of out of what I've been doing as a recent, so it's been a lot of fun preparing and getting ready to go out there. Camp was great, was, everything went great. I had Garrett Lieberger and uh, Josh Asper helping me with my wrestling. Uh, just been like invaluable helping me with my wrestling. <laughs> I woke up really early this morning, uh, like at 5.30. I got to the airport. We got here at 10.30 local time. And uh, we went to our hotel room, I got a gallon of water, then I came to train with Jamil and DJ. So we're getting some rounds in, sweating off the plain juices, I guess, and uh, we're trying to beat this jet lag. I expect to do well. I, I think I can win my division. I believe that I will win my division. And I'm excited to see my teammates go out there and do the same thing. We're all beyond ready for this competition, so it should be a lot of fun watching us go out there. We're just setting up lights. They finally got all the rigging done. Um, so now we got the ring lights. Uh, hopefully video wall production starts soon. So it's kind of 
similar to a fight to win, just not our truss. So it's a little awkward having to do things uh, a little bit differently, but you know, we'll be cooking here soon. I know you're a big fan, Troy. What are you looking forward to most um, this weekend? I'm interested to see John Combs, just because he's John Combs. Um, how Nicky Rod does, because he's obviously, he's an anomaly right now, so. Um, also, Hinger, Gordon, obviously. Gary Tonin, because he's the most exciting grappler, I think, on the planet. So, other than that, just seeing the whole thing, I've never really watched ADCC, to be honest with you. So, it'll be super exciting. Galval Pena. Ooh, hard to, hard to bet it against Galval, because this is the last one, right? Yeah, so. He'll be, he's a monster, and I think he'll, he'll, he'll retire from ADCC with a win. Obviously you've been a part of some big shows in the past, but this is ADCC. How, how, how does this compare, you think? Man, I mean, when my best show, I could get maybe three of these matches on. <laughs> so, like maybe four. My best fight to win ever, I maybe had four ADCC quality matches. And this weekend we'd get to see, you know, I mean, there's probably 10 guys in each division at least that are main event fighters that fight to win. I just feel like the talent level is so huge and it's just, it's my job to make sure that the production matches the talent level, which is a pretty tall task. But um, I've got a good crew and you guys have 50 people here. I've got 30 people here, you know, we've got $5 million worth of equipment. You know, we're going to deliver a solid product, so we just want to make sure that we put together the perfect production for the best event in history. What's going down? What's happening? <clears throat> the last of this setup, that's it. We're almost there, almost there, almost there. Almost done though? Almost done done. All the rigging is up, all the truss is up. Stage is being built right now. The mats are on the ground, warm up area is done. Um, I still need to install stickers and they need to build the last of the backdrop and all of that stuff and then we're ready to rock. So yeah, we're close. That's a belt. Yeah, that's oh a belt. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. <laughs> All right, kids. Damn, this is a belt, baby. You feel way cooler. Give me that. the only time. Give me a woo. Hold it though, right? Give me, give me a woo. Woo. There you go. <laughs> All right, so obviously it's about six o'clock. Oh no, seven o'clock. I'm sorry, right now. Yeah. Okay, so we're less than 48 hours uh, away. Weigh-ins are tomorrow. Tell me what's going on in, in, in the mind. In, I mean, everyone's checked into the hotel tonight, so that's the biggest hurdle. Tomorrow we start the weigh-ins. We're gonna have the opening ceremony at, or the rules meeting from five to six, and which is gonna be open to the public from 6 p.m. Then we're gonna line up for the first time. We're gonna line up each division, and then we're gonna release the brackets live on these big screens for the first time. For no one's seen them except myself. So tomorrow at 7 p.m. the brackets will be released for the first time with all the competitors and the audience members. So I'm just ready to get the show. I just want, I'm, re I'm ready for Saturday to start and then, uh, you know, take it from there. What's, what's today been like for you? Very hectic, you know, just, you know, you have a hundred people flying in from all around the world. You've got to change hotel rooms and, you know, some of them are late, missed their flights. Just logistically, it's, it's been a big headache, as you can see. So I'm, I'm hurting right now. Gotcha. So. Okay, so, so it's seven o'clock right now. What, what is your plan basically for the night? You said plans are tomorrow morning? So the fighters are training on the mats, the warm up mats. They're going to have dinner, and then starting at 7 a.m. tomorrow, I'm going to start doing the weigh ins. Once they get weighed in, then five o'clock, we do the rules meeting, finish that, do the division photos, release the brackets, and then Saturday, 10 a.m. sharp, we start the matches.
Seth's done an amazing job, to be honest. I knew he would. I mean, he's, he's delivered more than I was expecting, as you can see. So, like I said, it, if you have a chance to see this live, I only have a couple hundred seats left. Trust me. I mean, if you've never been to an ADCC event, it's something else. This is going to be the biggest ADCC yeah. ever? Yeah, 100%. It already is. We, we broke the record. We sold over 4,000 tickets. The previous record was 3,000, so we smashed that. And this is the most stacked ADCC ever, so I'm happy with how it's turning out so far. Yeah. Very busy guys, so I'll, I'll let you get back yeah. to it. Thank you. Muhammad Ali is here, everybody. So, when's Muhammad Ali hey. here? <laughs> That's right, bro. What do you think? Good. Happy birthday, bro. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you. Oh, you can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>